Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In the series of ATF, we are starting a second video where we discuss parameterized ATF, that is how to use or how to involve multiple parameters in any particular testing. Okay, so this is the very first video that is ATF framework. This is very important. You have to go through this one first and then come back to parameterized one. Okay, so let's start the video. So this is the demo instance. Let's go to ATF. This is the test here. Okay. So we are discussing this one basic record producer copy. So this is one of the basic one here. We just need to open the record producer, fill the values and then submit the record producer, create an incident. So the name of the record producer is create incident. So let me show you the record producer here. This is the record producer. Here we have two variables urgency and uh, describe the issue. So we will use parameters for urgency. As you see, there are three values which need to be tested for urgency, right? So the parameters which we will pass is for urgency field or you say urgency variable and this will be three variables. Okay. Three parameters basically. So here you see under test steps, we have open the record producer, submit the record producer, but there is one more step which is not there. That is fill the values of the variables. So we will add that step as well. And secondly, we will add the parameters to that step. So let's start it. First of all, you have to click on enable parameterized testing. As well as you click it, you see you have to provide parameter definition. And once we have parameter definition, we have to provide the set of values. That is all the values 1, 2 and 3. So let's go to parameter definition. Here you have two type of parameter definitions. The very first one is exclusive and second is shared. So if you want to use the definition with other test as well, then you have to create a shared parameter list. Otherwise, you can create exclusive one that is only available with this particular test. So for the time being, we will create exclusive parameters. Click on it. So here we have to select the type. All the basic types are available here. So we have to select the string type here because the values we put in are strings. Provide the label. Let's say urgency values. Column will come automatically. Select the max length is 40. Simple. Click on submit. So you see here under parameter definition, we have one variable available. So this is a kind of variable, right? And values to this variable will be available here. You have to create the values here. Click on new. You have the option to import the values as well in case the values are from different system or in large number. Okay. But for the time being, we click on new. You see the variable is coming here, right? Urgency values. Provide the first value that is urgency is one. You see here we have three values one, two and three. We always need to add value, right? Not label. So the value of this one high is in backend. It is one. So that's why we add one here. Submit. Click on new. Provide value two. look at the order as well. It will be executed as per the order. Click on new three submit. So now we have the variable here as well as we have three values ready. So the last step is add one step as well. Okay. So click on add new step. So here we have to go to service catalog because we have to set the values, right? Click on set the values. Click on next. Provide the item. The item name is create incident. Select it. It will show the list of variables. So first one is urgency. Provide the value of urgency. Here you see three values are available, but we do not hard code the values here. We have to do it with the help of parameter. So that's why you have to click on this icon. Click on it. You see parameters. Click here. As soon as you click here, you will see all the available parameters right now. In this system, we have only this parameter which we have created, select it. If we come here, you see the second option is also mandatory, right? That is comments. So you see provide comments here because we have to provide values to all the mandatory fields. So let's say test parameters. Okay, that's it. We have provided all the mandatory values. Now click on submit. 
you see this is step number five but it should be step number two so let's update the step numbers here add it to so you see the order is now corrected okay the very first one is open the record producer then set the values then submit then open existing then field value validation as simple as that now you have to click on run test run test just focus on the frame you see urgency one parameter is issue is test parameter the incident opened now the step five is completed it will again go for urgency 2 and then the value of issue see urgency 2 and describe issue as test parameter so like this it will continue and test all the parameter values which we have provided right now we have provided three so it will continue with the three values and submit the results accordingly so my dear friends this is it this is how we test the parameters this is how we add parameters in atf okay in next video we will see how to debug an atf test this is also very useful and uh, can give you much better results so till then thank you so much bye bye subscribe to the channel